Hi, my name is Ruby Lai. I'm a junior in Kirkland House. Um, I'm a concentrator in chemistry and physics. Since the beginning of my sophomore year, I've been working in Charlie Marcus's lab, um, and I've been working in carbon nanotubes since then. Right now, what I'm working on is sort of just a proof of concept um, experiment where we show that we can actually see a difference um, when we look at a bend in a carbon nanotube versus just a straight section. The idea is to use quantum mechanical phenomena, things that we haven't um, you know, been able to use before, to do computations that are much, much faster, much more efficient, to, to solve problems that we were never able to solve before with classical computers. OK, a classical computer has bits, as you know, like 0 or 1. And usually in a computer, like in our laptops, they're represented by transistors, uh, which are little electrical devices that have two states, like on and off. Right? Like they, they can carry current or they don't. A quantum bit that a quantum computer would use has a very similar sort of structure. It has two states. One is zero and one is one. Instead of being only on or off, you can use different sorts of phenomena like um, quantum superposition, which says that you can have an infinite set of states that um, come from a superposition of the two, like the zero and the one state. What sparked my interest in this field was I, I, I actually took a, a seminar with Professor Dudley Kirschbach, um, and he's a professor in chemistry at Harvard. He's now retired, but during, in his class, which is called Molecular Motors, I did a, a presentation on graphene and carbon nanotubes. And I started reading papers about it and reading um, journal articles about you know, this brand new material that they discovered, like graphene, and it just won the Nobel Prize, right? So when my sophomore year started, um, I really, really wanted to do some research and learn more about the material. The, the analogy sort of breaks down at some point between the bit and the quantum bit because, you know, they're really two different, very different things and you do computations very differently with them. The interesting part is not the fact that we have a carbon nanotube there, it's like a lot of it is just that we, like what we're looking at is just quantum phenomena in the system. It's just a whole new way of thinking of like how to do computations.